consonant from Wikipedia, the free encyclopedia, at www.wikipedia.org. A consonant is a sound in spoken language that is characterized by a closure or stricture sufficient to cause audible turbulence at one or more points along the vocal tract. The word consonant comes from Latin, meaning sounding with or sounding together, the idea being that consonants don't sound on their own, but only occur with a nearby vowel, which is the case in Latin. This conception of consonants, however, does not reflect the modern linguistic understanding, which define consonants in terms of vocal tract constrictions. There are a group of consonants, called sonorants, that sometimes act as vowels, occupying the peak of a syllable, and sometimes act as consonants. For example, in English, the sound L, that is the L, in land is a consonant, but in table it acts as a vowel. The word consonant is also used to refer to letters of an alphabet that denote consonant sounds. Consonant letters in the English alphabet are B, C, D, F, G, H, J, K, L, M, N, P, Q, R, S, T, V, W, X, Z, and sometimes Y. The letter Y stands for the consonant Y in yolk but for the vowel e in myth, for example. Since the number of consonants in the world's languages is much greater than the number of consonant letters in most alphabets, linguists have devised systems such as the International Phonetic Alphabet, IPA, to assign a unique symbol to each possible consonant. In fact, the Latin alphabet, which is used to write English, has fewer consonant letters than English has consonant sounds, so some letters represent more than one consonant and digraphs like sh and th are used to represent some sounds. Many speakers aren't even aware that the th sound in this is a different sound from the th sound in thing. In IPA they are s and thorn respectively. Each consonant can be distinguished by several features. The manner of articulation is the method that the consonant is articulated, such as nasal, stop or approximant. The place of articulation is where in the vocal tract the articulators of the consonant act, such as bilabial, alveolar or velar. Additionally, there may be a simultaneous narrowing at another place of articulation, for example a palatalization or a pharyngealization. The Phoenician method of a consonant is whether or not the vocal cords are vibrating during articulation of a consonant. When the vocal cords are vibrating, the consonant is voiced. When they are not, it's voiceless. Aspiration is also a feature of phonation. The airstream mechanism is how the air moves through the vocal tract during articulation. Most languages have exclusively pulmonic aggressive consonants, but adjectives, clicks and implosives use different mechanisms. The length is how long the articulation of a consonant takes. This feature is not distinctive in English, but various languages such as Italian, Japanese and Finnish have two length levels short consonants and geminates. Estonian and Sansemi languages have three length levels, short, geminate and overlong. The articulatory force is how much muscular energy is involved, this is disputed. All English consonants can be classified by a combination of this, such as voiceless alveolar stop consonant, such as T. In this case, the airstream mechanism is omitted. Some pairs of consonants like P and B T and D are sometimes called the fortis and lanius. Consult also Table of Consonants, List of Consonants, List of Phonetics Topics. External links Interactive manner and place of articulation at www.chaws.utoronto.ca slash tilde d a n h a double l slash phonetics slash semi dot h t m l Dictionary of all consonant words a free online dictionary with over one thousand words with no vowels and examples of usage from literature at www.oneletterwords.com This article and the original text are licensed under the GNU free documentation license at www.gnu.org slash copyleft.